Aloha and welcome to yet another picture perfect day on the island of Oahu. It's the last season ending sellout in 10 years here at Aloha Stadium. In 1991, Notre Dame came in to close out the season. You cannot get a ticket to this one either. BYU and Hawaii have been bitter rivals. They haven't played though in three years and Warrior fans would love to spoil that. 11 a.m. local kickoff and we are ready to go. Hawaii won the toss. They received the opening kickoff for the 12th time this season in 12 games. BYU and their road whites. Aaron Edmonds getting ready to kick off a very windy day. And Chad Owens leading the country in kickoff returns gets it as five. Exactly what Hawaii ordered. They start from their own 32. Nick Rolovich. Not very nimble, but nimble enough to get it off and complete it to Shannon Harris. That's Nick Rolovich took over for the injured Timmy Chang in week four. The senior has won seven of eight starts this season, thrown for over a thousand yards in his last two games. Just a junior, Ashley Lee has already broken Walter Murray's school record for career receiving yards. Size, speed, great hands, and a terrific leaper. You can't ask for much more than that. The running back is Thero Mitchell. They will not use the running back very often today. Second and one. Oh, he's first. in for the extra point and the Warriors after the great kickoff return from Chad Owens they get a couple of passes and the touchdown Shannon Harris taking it in 23 yards for the score turnovers special teams critical today and it's an offside an offside kick and Hawaii recovers it but flags are down Thought it was a legal kick. Where he told Croton he wanted to be, but Croton was quick to remind them, "Hey, we're not finished yet. Obviously, they've lost a little bit of that focus." Four yards on that first down. Roman out of the shotgun. Hold on. But it's Brandon Doman is 14-0 as BYU starting quarterback going back to last season. He has two 300-yard passing games this year and two 100-yard rushing games as well. With Luke Staley sideline, Mahe, already BYU's most dangerous receiver, will be looked on to make big plays on the ground. Cougar tight ends also have figured big in this offense. But third and six, BYU has converted 44% of its third down. Too much time. Mahe gets it near the first down marker. And there are some big ones there. Jason Sukanik and Dustin Reichert both were named first team All Mountain West players this year. A Hawaii D line, Mike Yasua, the lone senior. He's been battling through shoulder injuries. And on first down. Dolman just gets it off and done. Looking for Mahe again. That's incomplete. There's four. Hawaii, they're kind of banged up. Yanni Alapa gets the start over Pisatino Isamoa, who should play some after missing the last three games with a stress fracture in his leg. And coaches say that Nate Jackson is the quintessential free safety, though undersized at 5'10", 163 pounds. Gets it with relish. Second and 10. Doman under center this time. Blitz. And he gets it to Ned Stern. And to the halfback in the yard. BYU, third and nine. Doman for Vergel, incomplete. And Owens, who we saw him return the opening kickoff, is back to receive. Owens has to run up for it, gets it at his 26.
Hawaii is up 14 to nothing. Stats guy Tony Britt is going to be busy. We've got numbers flying everywhere. It's 14 to nothing already. And Miguel takes it out. A couple of yards deep in the end zone. And he gets into the clear a little bit, but is dragged down just over the 25 yards. No good staying in the huddle. Down 14 points. What are you made of? Why is showing blitz? They come. Going to nowhere to go, but you know, improvising the mind here. You can't come up with it. Look at Doman's numbers on the season. 31 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. He had three of them last week against Mississippi State. An escape win. They won on a last second field goal. And there's a little improv to Mahe. And he picks up a few before he is tackled. That there were four black shirts. Edmonds in the locker room. We're checking on why. So Payne gets off the skyscraper. Owens. Drops it. Well, that ball was recovered late. That might be BYU. I think it is. BYU pointing that way. And so are the officials. So Owens muffs the punt, and the Cougars get a break quickly on Owens. So it's now first and ten for BYU. It's a reverse to Andrew Orr, the receiver. Rodgers down as he scores. We might have a penalty on Dustin Riker. Holding on the offense. Ten-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. 15 first down. Seven on the game, minus ten on the penalty. Gets us a first and 13. Completed. Does not get much. Mahe after that field. He is corralled at the 14 again. Doman with Jackson in pursuit. He stripped it. The ball is loose, and BYU will hold on to possession as Doman was able to get it near the sidelines. Unbelievable. Edmonds, coffin corner, but it's way short. Kicking away from Owens. And they will mark it. 31 of them. So all the guys telling us this is their bowl today. Rolovich kind of slings it out to the right side and hits Craig Stutzman. They'd only travel about 100 people. That's the problem. Which is the problem with the bowl system. It's not rewarded on merit. That pass is dropped by Shannon Harris. They sold it out. It was a tough travel. You're five hours from California. Rolovich up top looking, and it's intercepted. A great over-the-shoulder pick by Aaron Francisco, a native Hawaiian. No fumble. The officials rule that he is down. From Hawaii, we saw his parents at practice the other day watching their son. Reno Mahe again out of the backfield, and he loses yardage. Thank you very much, Reese, with those playoffs underway. Charlie Peterson now in to play quarterback, and a double reverse. That's Mike Regal. Nate Jackson misses him, and he is shoved out of bounds around the 40-yard line, leading 77% of them. Third and three. Peterson looking for his big tight end and finding him for a first down. Trying to change the pace of the game, and it looks like it might be working. Peterson gets his pass knocked right back in his face by Travis LeBoy. Second and ten after the great play by LeBoy. Peterson out of the shotgun for the first time, and he keeps it. Gets a nice little seam and is close. Tight end is the fullback. Give it up to Stearns, and he loses a couple of inches. Be a problem for an audible. 72% of the time, BYU is converted on fourth down. Stearns, with second effort, looks like he has it. He loves that stuff. He looked tough on that one. First and ten. Peterson still the quarterback. Plenty of time. Good coverage downfield, and that is a coverage sack. It's second and 13. It's all a second sack of the season, by the way. A little rollout. Peterson sidearms it towards Halliday, but it's incomplete. BYU certainly does not look comfortable so far in this game, down 14 to nothing. 
BYU 2 of 6 on third down so far today. Peterson retreating, looking for Stearns, who was open. Matt Payne was 2 for 2 last week, including a 25-yarder at the final gun to beat Mississippi State. This is a 44-yarder, and Payne gets it. So Matt Payne helps out BYU, struggling a little bit in this first quarter. They're down 14 to 3. They won't go back out when their team gets the ball. There's a little squiver. Owens gets it about four yards deep in the end zone. And he's in trouble at the 10. Good coverage that time. So they have been down by two touchdowns as recently as last week. Rolovich, a big out, and it is through the hands of Craig Stutzman. You know, seven touchdowns in one game. Come on. That's sick. That is a completion to Shannon Harris, and that's a huge gain up to the 31. That's the first quarter, very early, the second play of the game for those guys. Keep an eye out for number eight. He's going down the sideline, though, for Justin Colbert. Talk about the difference between speed and quickness. And I yeah. guess that uh, Justin has both. You have to see Ashley catch a pass. That one is through the hands of Harris, who got turned around. Rolovich completing 58% of his passes on the season. Third and 10. Steps up. And over the middle, he finds the lead. His first catch of the game is for the first down. And Jamara Gilbert strips the football. Great play by Gilbert. Trying to sort it out. It's as BYU recovers its second fumble of the game. Look who's back, Brandon Doman and Reno Mahe. Back for BYU, first and 10 from their 40 after the Guilford force fumble, and he also recovered it. Doman, play action right to Mahe, first down. Into Hawaii territory. That's a help them on a drive that got the field goal. Doman rolling to his left. The right-handed quarterback finds his tight end, Doug Jolly, for the first down, but a flag is down throw right there but that was a late flag he threw it at the whistle and it has been really terrific on that when they fumble on offense more often than not they recover them Doman has time to look and find Mahe play action Doman looking for Mahe just a little low third and four for the Cougars. Two of seven so far on third downs as Doman goes back into the shotgun. There's Mahe. There. Looking for his tight end, Doug Jolly, who grabs it for the first down. A surprise? Well, they didn't want to have him thinking too much as Doman carries it by himself and stumbles forward. Quarterback Charlie Peterson is lined up to the left as a wide receiver. Stearns in motion. They go to Peterson, who's going to throw it to the tight end. Jolly in the end zone, but it's broken up beautifully by Jacob Espial. And now it's third and one. He feels blitz. Doman keeps it first down, maybe. Yes, he just scooches over the first and ten. Here they come. He's got Halliday on the left side, but he's going deeper. That is a touchdown for Spencer Need. The tight end got behind the secondary for a 24-yard touchdown. Hawaii got the first 14 points quickly, the last 10 going to BYU. Mistake last time. Payne did not kick it away last time. He does now, but makes Owens go for it about a yard deep in the end zone. Chad has a huge hole. Force on November 23rd of this year as Ayat converts the extra point. So Chad Owens, we know his forte, and that is returning kicks and punts. Ayat pooches it all the way into the end zone. Raquel takes it five yards deep, and he's only getting to the 16. 
Doman on the keeper. Breaks a tackle and gets the first down. 21 to 10, Hawaii, two of its touchdowns on returns, a punt return and a kickoff return. We have a good one going on in Hawaii. And a rather comfortable afternoon here, December the 8th. First and 10 after the Doman first down run. Blitz coming, Doman sidesteps, but can't get the pass off. Pisa, Tino Isamoa. Terrific run there, how about that? If anybody sees any defense out there, Substitution infraction on the defense, 12 men on the field, five yard penalty. Ball, so, and another great season with at least eight wins guaranteed this year. Doman, nowhere to go but upfield. Shoestring tackle by Joe Correa. Over 50,000 people crammed in. Doman looking right all the way, and he fires it high for Rod Wilkerson yards but you kick it high so he can't run it back. Edmonds third punt of the day and he does kick it away as Owens did not call that was not a fair catch sign but he just shielded the sun from his eyes he did not wave his arm. Chad Owens in the record books. We still have mostly game left to go. Rolovich find time and finds the lead who is way faster than Justin Etta. Can Brandon Heaney catch him? Yes. Lee, they read each other so well. Well, he, he looks off the secondary real well. Rolovich, though, goes down as he is sacked. Hawaii had the ball only two minutes in the first quarter, and we're on 124 point pace. <laughs> Rolovich looking in the end zone and just out of the reach. Hawaii with 13 plays so far, 12 of them were pass plays. Here's the 13th. Over the middle, Heaney with the coverage, tight coverage. Not bad. Justin Ayotte in to try his first field goal of the day. It's a 41-yarder. He had a 55-yarder earlier this season against Tulsa. And this one is no good. Just scooched off to the right at the last second. Maybe the trade winds blew that one down. And uh, just a, a great ceremony, many ceremonies to remember such a time as that pass is incomplete to 10 in favor of Hawaii. Second to 10. Fake reverse, Doman looking down for Stearns, his halfback who catches it and then fumbles it. Hawaii has it. Is he inbound? Yes. On the Hiram Peters hit. So first and 10 from Hawaii's 45. Rolo to Lali. First down. So, huh? How about those numbers? Yeah. Just wait. It's just a matter of time. Rolovich gets planted into the carpet. Rolovich out of the shotgun. Oh, too far for Mike Bass. June Jones tells us he doesn't recruit Mike Bass. You can see why. He doesn't use him. Rolovich says, give me a block out in front. It was missed, but Heaney caught up with him, not before, though. The first rush counter, of course, was at sack that, that uh, you mentioned about, so it's two overall, and Lali is pushed out of the way by Gilford. That's an interference call. From the six, they are already up by 11. Three wide receivers to Rolovich's left. He gives it to Mike Bass. He fumbles it, and Brigham Young recovers. Aaron Francisco. Getting another score, instead it goes back to BYU at the six. Mahe stumbles forward for a couple. Yeah. Right, with as many yards, but threw it on that one. As Doman gives a little play action. Flag is down. Mahe gets it. It will be a first down, but it looks like it might be a holding against BYU. Bumble Ball. late. On the offense. Down to the goal. Repeat second down. And it's second 11. Second and 11. Doman from his end zone has to take off, and he doesn't go anywhere. Travis LeBoy. Strength and speed wins most of the time. And that was six foot seven inch, 301 pounder Dustin Reichert he was able to get away from. Doman has to throw it towards Regal, who gets a hand on it but can't gather it in. You know who's returning. That's Chad. Aaron Edmonds has never had a punt blocked in his career. That's a good one. As 
He gets it off, and Owens fighting the wind, gets it at the 47. Oh! He has just tackled. And the Warriors have the ball back. On their 32. Rolovich has it knocked down. Justin Enna, the middle linebacker. Thank you, Reese. What they needed was the band on the field, maybe, to make that last play work. Congratulations to North Dakota, not just a hockey school anymore. That was a heck of a hit. Shannon Harris has got over 100 yards today on three catches, but no touchdowns yet. Rolovich rolling out and uh, looking. Justin Ayotte in for a 45-yarder. He missed from 41 earlier in the second quarter. The wind is swirling. That one has a lot more juice behind it and is good. So Justin Ayotte, the native Hawaiian, knocks it home, and the Warriors' lead is back to two touchdowns. A huge holiday if Hawaii could knock off BYU. Justin Ayotte, after the field goal, kicks it to Mike Miguel, but instead he kicks it out of bounds. Just one in a million. Thank you, Heather. They also said it's amazing with the tournay order that he was not paralyzed from the waist down, at least. And Stearns is taken down. Nick Rolovich and Ashley Lee told us yesterday, he said he treats us like men, and it's like, you know, one play and go on. Don't hold the grudge, keep going. You know, Mahe keeps going. Jacob Espial gets him at the 40. So Mahe finally got some... Head ball, personal foul on the offense. That is not a, a good penalty pace. First and 10 from the BYU 45. Doman able to escape trouble, gets it out to Need as tight end, who gets away from a couple of would-be tacklers and picks up the first down. First and 10, now BYU in Hawaii territory in the 42. The pressure gets to Doman, who fumbles it. Ball still loose, and Hawaii recovers. to the middle linebacking spot. Second turnover for BYU. A rare running play for Thero Mitchell. You know, he, he brought that up. He right, to admit it. Yeah. No, nobody's perfect, and June certainly admitted it. And Luke's done pretty well for himself. Another running play. How about back to back? Thero Mitchell picks up the first down. 309 yards on the season coming into this game. I meant to say, as Rolovich looks for Stutzman. And that falls incomplete. It does have that nice tight spiral that usually cuts the wind fairly nicely, but you're right, the wind is whipping. Lali can't hold on to it. Rolovich looking all the way for Lali, who just beautifully! Oh, what a catch! <laughs> on the day. Rolovich to Lali! On the post pattern! There's his first touchdown of the day! is the unknown factor. Didn't affect him that time, just like in the first quarter when he was <laughs> pointed the other way. Go ahead and celebrate. Ashley Lalee takes it in. It's a three touchdown lead for the Warriors. Yesterday, I think you, the best things about him are he's tough and throws the deep ball. Right? That is certainly an unhidden talent. Mike Regal gets the IAC kick at the three and breaks clear, breaks a couple of tackles, he fumbles it. The Warriors pick it up. Hawaii gets the football back. Kelvin Milhouse picked it up. Everybody's doing that, Pam, and you, you have to know that as a, a, somebody with a the football there on. First and 10 from the 40. Ash, uh, make it Justin Colbert with the first down catch got a lot of stuff going on here Reese. a terrific career and it continues on for georgia southern first and ten lalee gets it and is dragged down at the 11 yard line by levi madrietta block downfield all six foot four 320 pounds of them that is thrown behind craig stutzman a good one so far for hawaii Rolovich handles that Aaron snap. Looks like a broken play, and he takes it down towards the five-yard line. Third and four from the five for Hawaii. Rolovich gives it to Mitchell. You never expect that, do you? I guess the 
BYU defense. <laughs> At 5 and 15 on fourth down for the season, by the way, is dead last in the whack. You gotta think one on one down here to Lalee. He's looking for him in the right end zone, but instead throws the post pattern incomplete to Shannon Harris. Boy, he was looking right away, Dean. You were right to Lalee, but he was well covered. The eight, 228 left to go in the first half. We'll see what Doman can do. Puts it up to Andrew Orton. It's almost intercepted. Pick that one off. Doman threw a career high three interceptions last week at Mississippi State. He was lucky he wasn't picked that time. He's now nine of 20 through the air. And the crowd is up for this one. Third and 10. Doman keeps it. And he goes right for the sticks. And depending on the spot today. Mahe is, is 40 yards. Not more yards than any of his true running backs. And there's Mahe with the catch. And there was questions as to whether or not he played today. And he's played pretty well. Two minute offense. Aladdin gets the reception. And that's a first down as all three of its timeouts remaining. Doman finds a lane and gets Regal at the 42 yard line. You don't stop the clock on the sidelines or with the first down. Second and four after the six yard game. Doman has to move to his right. He has his man wide open. That's Rod Wilkerson, freshman from Forum, Utah. Three receivers to his left. There's Doman. Retreating way back, a middle screen is complete to Ned Stearns, his halfback, who gets the first down. Believe it. You've got to go deep a couple of times. All the stuff has been shallow. Doman. A little quick hitter to Reno Mahe. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the coaching staff away. 15-yard penalty, first down. And they were just given a warning, so they got away with it sort of the first time. And for BYU. <laughs> Doman, nowhere to go, so he has to take off with it. A flag is down as Doman heads towards the 10-yard line. Defensive holding. Receivers to his left, Reno Mahe, the closest in the slot. Don't forget his tight end. He loves him in this situation. He's got him in the back of the end zone. Doman finds him late, and it's incomplete through Stern's hands and through Jolly's hands. The hardest area of the field to throw a football. Catch it. Throw it. Throw it. He has to take off. And Doman is stuck and fumbles it. Hawaii picks it up. And Hawaii fumbles. Cougars' largest deficit of the season. They're down by three touchdowns. Reese Davis now has the Saturn College Game Day halftime report. Reese will play in the Liberty Bowl against Louisville, but obviously they would like to keep this unbeaten string. Regal gets it and takes a knee. Hopped back in. He came back in, and they beat Fresno, but this is his throwing shoulder that is separated, so yeah. we will keep an eye on that. First play of the second half, Reno Mahe lined up as a halfback, and he picks up about eight. And that was the last play of the first half as Mahe gets it and gets the first down. Gary Croton, known for making adjustments. If, if they can make up a 21-point deficit. First down, Doman looking for Mahe, who wasn't even looking for the football. There's Doman's numbers so far. Pretty respectable for anybody else, but he's used to more. He's had to run the ball a lot, and he gets a little breathing room up the middle. Talking all regular season, we'll have the answer coming up. Third and two after the timeout. Doman on the quarterback keeper. And he is very close to the first down. And they say it's especially dangerous on a broken play. BYU converted a fourth and two earlier in this game. Mahe gets outside, gets the first down, and a whole lot more as he is dragged down from behind. Running back says he prefers to be a wide receiver, but he's done a good job filling in under bad conditions, tough conditions, as Mike Regal catches the pass win over Mississippi State. They might get him back to the Liberty Bowl. They're hopefully trying to get him back. Doman is blindsided. And Hawaii gets another turnover. Joe Correa with another big hit. 
though, does Hawaii come out as aggressively as it did? Rolovich throwing, separated shoulder and all, and finding Shannon Harris with the shoulder problems. And Rolovich toughing it up with his separated shoulder, takes off and dives towards the first down marker. That's a good thing. First and ten. Give it up to Thero Mitchell. He breaks a tackle somehow and gets Sutton out of what should have been a loss. He did have 116 yards against SMU earlier. Breyer just had one against Air Force in their last game. So first and 17, Rolovich unleashing it for Shannon Harris. Makes the catch in BYU territory. Brandon Heenan, Brandon Heaney and Aaron Francisco with the stop, but it's per game. Remember he had that touchdown catch here in the first quarter, a 23-yarder. Rolovich in trouble, and he just scooches it up for Stutzman, who makes the catch! First down from the 20. Going for Lee, who makes the catch and goes into the end zone backwards. Touchdown, Warriors. We'll check that. It was Tafiti Uso, number six, who made the touchdown catch. Ion, extra point is good. Well, <laughs> this is that, that answers the question I think about whether they're going to be aggressive or not. Tafiti Uso going to go back to Stanford to finish up his econ degree. There, we'll give him an A plus for this play. It's a 28 point lead for the Warriors. Right? Yes, That's it a is. That's smart thing to do. So congratulations to, to him on his final collegiate game. As I act the second time today, kicks a kickoff. Out of bounds. Legs and power himself in, and he, he does the backflip. Big stuff now for Brandon Doman to try to lead his team back as Tino Isamoa will be flagged for tackling Ned Stearns. Tino Isamoa tackling yeah. Stearns right. before that, a little bit closer to Doman. But anyway, it's a first down as Mahe gets a catch, a shifty little move, and he's out in the open. Rio Mahe goes in for the Brigham Young touchdown. 55 yards for the score. Point. It is good, and BYU does respond nicely, coming right back after the Hawaii touchdown, but they're still down by 21 points. Yes, it's, uh, BYU kicks it off. Chad Owens already has a 100-yard kickoff return. And a punt return for a touchdown, and this time he has to settle. Gets it back. Rolovich over the middle connects again with Shannon Harris, who has been his favorite target today. As you just saw there, the last touchdown for the Pito Uso set a new record as that one was misfired in the direction of Craig Stutzman's third straight 500-yard <laughs> game, but he's got time. Boy, no time to throw it, but he gets it off in time, and it is caught by Ashley Lillie. First and 10 from the 21. Rolovich to Uso, and Uso gets inside, breaks a tackle. He's heading in for a second touchdown of the quarter. In for the extra point. And BYU has finally met its offensive match this season. Hawaii can score with the best of them, and they are leading 45 to 17 in this game. Justin Ayat puts it on the ground, picked up by Mike Regal. And he, and they picked up this Hawaii game. You play Hawaii, you can get an extra game on the schedule, and they now have. 13. Charlie Peterson now in a quarterback, and he finds Mahe. So we saw Gary Croton do this in the first half. BYU, first and 10 now. Blitz coming, and Peterson cannot escape Robert Grant. Was able to get past the tackle, whichever one it was, and make the play. Peterson retreating, completes it to Stearns, the halfback, and with a couple of big guys in front of him, he finds more room and is finally dragged down at the 20. He is in 
the slot to the left to Charlie Peterson. Peterson, good protection this time. Plenty of time looking in the end zone for his tight end, Doug Jolly, who scores the touchdown. Croton pushes the right button. He brings Doman out. He puts Peterson in. And Pe attempt. It's good. They answered again. You like touchdowns? We got touchdowns for you. <laughs> Back and forth. 45-24, here's Jolly. Well, Jolly is one of my favorites. We caught him earlier this year when he had three touchdowns in the first half. Big and strong. Can run and catch. Good. No, it's better to be numb. And that was nice. So Gary Croton coming out to help him off as... Matt Payne kicks it off to Chad Owens, a special teams hero today, and Owens is enveloped at the 25-yard line. Up by 21 points on unbeaten BYU, and that one is misfired as well. Rolovich back to pass, looking and finding Uso again. So another completion for Nick Rolovich. Ready back home, and we're just incredibly proud of him. Very, very good. And the team is doing awesome. Congratulations on a great career. Some aunt and uncles out here. He said his grandpa made the trip to California, and he's having a great day so far as he gets another completion, this time to Craig Stutzman. He has set the Hawaii single-season record for most touchdown passes, and he gets a short completion to Shannon Harris. That is not a first down. is rested. Should be fun. Sean Alexander, great running back out of Alabama. Fun to watch. Peterson still playing quarterback, and Andrew Ord tries to make the circus catch, but by you. 12-0 this year. He also won the last two last season. Peterson, plenty of time to find Wilkerson, but that is knocked away. Third and 10 from the 20. Coming at him. What's well, picked up nicely. Peterson, time to find Toby Christensen making his first catch of the day. Todd's little boy. With the, the day that you'll just love. Jacob Espial was the Hawaii player shaken up. Peterson decides to throw it to Regal downfield. It's tipped away. Golly, his tight end, by the way, was wide open on that play. A little bit closer to the line of scrimmage, but he decided to throw it long. Second down. Peterson on the outside, and a flag is thrown. Andrew Ord. It's far side from us, but it looked like. Came in and rolled with you at the University of Hawaii and eventually got himself a scholarship. Peterson gets himself a sack, and he loses the football. It's fumbled again. The Warriors pick it up. Lance Sanaseva, the two ball clubs, first and ten for Hawaii from the 18. Hero Mitchell gets outside, heads for the sticks, but he is tackled by Aaron Francisco from behind. Uh, enough already, giving up 45 on the day. Rolovich in the end zone for Lalee, and that is knocked away. Rolovich throws it away. Stutzman was three receivers to Rolovich's left. He's looking that way, and he finds his receiver for the touchdown. That's Craig celebration it's got to be you yeah. can't kick the ball out of the end zone without yeah. it. and this is one heck of an extra point this will be a 50 <laughs> yard attempt for the extra point by ion <laughs> and he nails it oh uh, when it's your day it's your day <laughs> Two to 24, celebration time on the islands. Lee Lee, the wide receiver, and uh, and Nate Jackson actually was the Hawaii native who was mentioning how much he really, really wanted this football game. Lee has been here since he was a sophomore in high school. A great game. Yeah. Because he knows he has an offense that can score. There is Mahe. Back in the game, despite the hit pointer. Fake, he retreats. Little Freeman's a stern 
yards who gets the first down into Hawaii territory. And boy, did they miss him. They've missed him all game long. Peterson completes it to Mahe. Mahe has been a true warrior for the Cougars today. But they'll go to the Liberty Bowl. It should be a good one. Second and two after the Hawaii timeout. Peterson looking deep, and he's got Wilkerson, who could not quite hang on. What an effort. It's terrible stuff. Third and two. Peterson keeps it and gets the first down. Turn in the corner and is shoved out of bounds. And a late flag, or a flag, I should say, for a late hit. Cheaper season. Late hit out of bounds. After this to the goal, automatic first down. Ball in the Hawaii 12, first and 10 after the, uh, the uh, late hit. Pass is complete to Wilkerson. He comes right back in and is close to another first down. First and goal on the two. Peterson has to improvise and is knocked down from behind. Big and has a mean streak. Full house backfield into Jolly in the end zone. Touchdown. There's my guy. Boy, I'd throw to him all day. 28 yards and two touchdowns for Doug Jolly. As that extra point by Matt Payne is true. Tennessee loses to LSU. Nebraska probably goes. Nebraska didn't win the North Division. Boy, there's a good chance one of those teams might score 52 points. Rolovich gets it off, looking for the lead. Guilford was all over him. Jones is first. And a sellout today. Rolovich looking. And another incompletion and another hard hit. Croton calls his own plays for BYU, but Mike Borich is his offensive coordinator. Rolovich has the lead off by himself. An 80-yard touchdown for the lead. Six touchdowns for Rolovich. That's just an eye on. Puts in the extra point. I missed it, actually. It was wide right. The, uh, do you think do you think they'd give me a vote? <laughs> more like me? Regal gets it at the 10, and he is up to the 23-yard line. He's done for that. Third down. The third quarter winding down on first down. That one is thrown too long, and it's intercepted by Hiram Peters. As long as June Jones is here. And he says he would like to hang around for a long time. Will Lee. Junior. Rolovich stepping up. And he's got his man wide open in the middle of the field. It's Tafiti Uso. That's the end of the third quarter. Hawaii has 58 points. We're coming back with a lot more offense. Game. Fourth quarter just getting underway. Nick Rolovich rolling left, looking into the end zone for Shannon. Harris who gets it! That's as good a throw and catch as I've ever seen. Rolovich had people chasing him, running left, sideways. Throws it sidearm perfectly. 34 points. Two minutes for Hawaii. Eight today. Peterson completes his pass to Doug Jolly. Let's take a look at that touchdown. That Harris, nine catches for 123 yards and two touchdowns as Mahe. Moving on the offense. 10-yard penalty remains first down. I mean, right now they just have to hold BYU to 64 and they win. <laughs> it's amazing. Stearns catches the pass. And he is dragged down near midfield by Pisa Tino Isamoa. He played his college, his high school ball in California. He was both the offensive and defensive players of the year. He's been a terrific defender as Halliday is near that. Gimme for Lali. Over 260 yards of work for him. Get a chance to come into his own. Yes, he did. He came into his own. He did.
is to lose Staley, and, and I'm going to point to say it again, to say that, you know, that they're going to come out and win the game, but I just don't think it gets like this. Peterson on the keeper, he had completed an 11 yard pass to Toby Christensen for a first down to play Peterson on the run, looking and finding his receiver, Reno Mahe, who got behind. He has 11 catches for 162 yards. Peterson takes off Mahe with the block. That is illegal. The touchdown will come back. Bush in the back. And it was very close, but it brought the touchdown back. First and goal from the 11. Peterson regains the football and then just goes out of bounds. And now another late hit flag. Tino Isamoa gets him on the sidelines. Cheerleaders. Cheerleaders after the players. Watch the end of this one. On the defense. After this is to the goal. Automatic first down. Well, look at that guy going after Pisa. From the six. Peterson on the keeper. And he is dragged down literally by his ankle. Four hours, you get a little bit spunky. A little punchy. Here comes Mahe. Oh, and he goes down. Flag fly. Holding on the offense. 10-yard penalty. Remains second down. Peterson trying to run the option. He keeps it and goes down to the five. Four. Three of six, I should say, for 18 yards. But he gets a touchdown to Reno Mahe on his first pass of this game. Oh, that's wonderful for him. Wonderful. And Payne knocks it through. Todd Mortensen, first play, touchdown. We're over 100 points. So after the, the uh, touchdown, here comes Chad Owens. He has two touchdowns on returns for the way that they pound guys into the ground as Hero Mitchell gets lots of daylight and a first down run. Hawaii runs the football. <laughs> <laughs> We're inside 10 minutes in this game. As Rolovich hands it off again to Mitchell. Crouch, the Heisman Award winner this year. Very, very close vote. Rolovich for Lalee. And even the wonderful Ashley Lalee couldn't adjust to that one. Third down. And that is wide open for Shannon Harris, who had the first down and stretched forward even more. Even though they've had a lot of penalties and turnovers, they're still dropping up. Another running play as Mitchell gets out into the open. Francisco makes the stop. And he'll quite a bit here in the second half. Rolovich completes it, and then it's dropped by Gerald Welch. Man. Another handoff. Mitchell starting to take over here midway through the fourth quarter. Paul walking entry, 104 out of 117. That is into the end zone for yet another touchdown for Nick Rolovich and Shannon Harris. Is that eight touchdowns? That is touchdown. eight yards out. And I got gets it. 72 to 38. Breaking the defense, own score record score of seven touchdowns that he had done earlier. And he's a military kid. Moved around quite a bit, did Ashley. And he decided to stay in Hawaii. And for the third time today, Justin Ayat has kicked a, a kickoff. Uh, athletic ability, a good head on his shoulders as that pass from Mortensen to Need is incomplete. Well, I've run out of things to say. <laughs> yeah, superlatives uh, kind of don't do him justice. That's a nice catch by Rod Wilkerson. The answer to the run and shoot question in today's run and shoot is that you have to be really smart to understand it. June Jones will teach a quarterback to do what you have to do in the NFL. So, Coach, I'm I'm just now getting it. I'm getting it. He's going. We're paying billions to these guys. We're just now getting it. Flags are down as Peterson takes off. And the thing with Warren Moon was he said holding against BYU. You're thinking as well. 
And Rolovich is 6'2", 200, by the way, so he has good size as Stearns catches that pass and gets into Hawaii territory. On second down, Peterson back in at quarterback. That one is incomplete as he now. Peterson finding Mahe, who breaks several tackles and then finally is brought down. Third and one. <laughs> the average is 71. Fourth and three, he gets Mahe. A nice stutter <laughs> step. Oh, that's a great move. And Just he gets a first down. Stop him. Thank you very much, Reese. They're big and strong, not fast enough to keep up with these little guys. The secondary can play that well. Peterson, the quarterback, finds his receiver. That is Toby Christensen, who has tackled just short. Could, could jump up and bite him, but it didn't happen until now. You know, the question I have is, uh, what about this? What about this club here? Turn and a punt return for a touchdown is the extra point by Payne is good. Next now in its last two games, they had five against Mississippi State in a close miss last week. And on that onside kick, there is a battle for the football. I thought BYU caught it. Unless, unless he was, yeah, they did. Mike Simcoe was down there. Didn't have minutes. the opportunity to catch the ball. Five yard penalty, the spot, first down. And he played with Craig Stutzman, the uh, senior who was thrown out of the game earlier today as Mike Bass gets the carry. And, uh, boy, a great combination. Let's go down to Heather Cox and, you know, and, and, and behave the rest of the rest of the day. The name would be uh, definitely probable, if not more so, upgraded for more important. Turnover battle goes to Hawaii. The game itself, of course, will go to Hawaii. 52 plays they ran, and these two teams will play each other next year in Pro Bowl. That should be fun. They haven't played each other since 1998. Good thing we don't know about that. <laughs> Tui Ala now is in. Four is the best that he has ever coached. He says that four of the five. BYU's undefeated season is over. Hawaii wins 72 to 45. On a day when many records fell, Nick Rolovich, eight touchdown passes. What a way for the senior to go out in front of a lot of family who made the trip from California. The most points ever scored by Hawaii, 72, and the most points ever given up by BYU, also 72. So Hawaii wins at 72-45 for Dean Blevins, Heather Cox. I am Pam Ward. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Chad Owens, what a day for him. A 100-yard kickoff return, a 74-yard punt return for touchdowns. For more.